Well, hello and thank you for tuning in to Truth TV News. I'm Vincent Rose, your host, and I uh, wanted to go back to this idea about Hermes Trismegistus. Uh, some of you have heard me speak about Hermes before, uh, but I'm going to speak about it again because I think it's a very relevant point. I'm coming from the uh, book that uh, I have, uh, The Globe, Earth, uh, or why the uh, globe is a modern form of idolatry. And one of the reasons why I believe that uh, the wisdom of man and the wisdom of God are in constant conflict is because uh, they actually are divergent. They are two different uh, ways of seeing the world. And uh, the wisdom of the globe and the wisdom of a spinning ball out in space just does not fit the narrative of scripture. Scripture informs us that we are enclosed in under a firmament and we are in the midst of the waters. Uh, the Lord drew us out of the water just as the Lord drew Moses out of the water. Uh, we are also been drawn out of the water. Uh, God put water. He separated the waters from the waters is what scripture says. I believe in Genesis chapter one, verse seven. And uh, God actually separated the waters from the waters, uh, the waters above. And there's the great oceans above us. And then there is the waters beneath. And that is the great depths of the sea below us. So we have uh, an enclosed environment. A earth in which we cannot leave, a uh, man cannot dig past seven miles beneath uh, the layer of the earth because beneath the earth is hell and also the great deep. And man can't even go above or outside of the uh, area in which we live because man is enclosed in a glass dome. So uh, this is the way God wanted us to remain. However, we have a wisdom that comes from the Greeks and this wisdom uh, that comes from the Greeks uh, is in form of hermetic magic. So this person, uh, the great Hermes, is always pictured uh, holding a globe in his hand and he goes all the way back to Aristotle and Plato and uh, many of the great Greek philosophers uh, uh, stole uh, the ideas in which uh, he believed. Now, so who is Hermes? So Hermes here is the figure that we are looking at. He is the quintessential uh, magus, uh, this pagan magician from antiquities who somehow comes to receive this incredible favorable uh, treatment by the European Christian theologians and scholars along with the Europeans who are of course much more deeply attracted to uh, the occult elements of this tradition. See, this is something that uh, many of us are not aware of. We believe actually kind of naively that we are in a, um, you know, America was founded by a Christian nation and that uh, all of the ideas of science are come out of rationalism and uh, th that kind of mindset. But uh, actually, uh, the ideas of uh, science came out of magic and many of the ideas uh, came out of the ancient wisdom of the past. Now again when we talk about Hermes Trismegistus here he is a great figure in uh, the development of the magical world in which we have our uh, cosmological laws so um, what I would like to really kind of demonstrate with this here uh, is that uh, most of what we believe about cosmology the earth spinning around uh, the Sun well really all of it uh, the earth spinning around the Sun and uh, all of the things that we believe about the globe came out of this ancient magic even the gravity the law of gravity came out of the ancient wisdom of man. I want to get back to this uh, person though of uh, Hermes Trismegistus. Hermes Trismegistus here of course as you can see that he's holding a globe in his hand and um, most of the pictures that you'll see of him uh, you will actually see him holding a globe in his hand. Uh, this is uh, an indication of um, the kind of occult wisdom and knowledge uh, that ranks supreme among the Greeks and the Egyptians. And so uh, if you are uh, even wondering or even uh, deluded by this globe and wondering why we actually have such a in the flat earth uh, community, 
have such a aversion to the globe, uh, you can understand it from this perspective here that uh, the globe is part of a world system that has been developed or a world philosophy that has been developed for us uh, out of the wisdom of the Greeks uh, rather than in um, rooted in actual science. Uh, it's something that came from ancient beliefs and also is a pagan ideal. And that's why uh, it's covered in my book, Why the Globe is a Modern Form of Idolatry. And so you can pick yourself up a copy of that uh, when you know you uh, go to the link uh, that's below. Anyway, Hermes uh, Trismegistus uh, was a uh, ancient uh, Greek uh, philosopher. Uh, his wisdom uh, is uh, paralleled according to most of the people who worship uh, Greek philosophy. Uh, parallel to the wisdom of Moses and was just as important. And it also piggybacked on the uh, philosophy of most, most of the Christian uh, understanding that we have about the world today. While we think that the world has been based upon rationalism, we think that uh, most of uh, what we believe in America and also in our scientific community is based upon the rational ideas of Christian uh, philosophers and people who uh, came out of Christianity, such as Isaac Newton and, uh, you know, Galileo and those people. Uh, really, um, it's not true. Uh, the wisdom came from uh, hidden secret societies, men who got together and decided to bring about doctrines uh, doctrines of devils that would uh, actually mislead the entire world into a um, occult practice without even being aware of it. And thus we have the globe in hand of Hermes Trismegistus. So uh, that's why he's pictured holding the globe. Uh, it is also um, no small wonder that uh, this also is something that is uh, celebrated around the world. Uh, throughout all cultures. Uh, it seems to be that uh, Hermes Trismegistus is one who um, transcends cultural barriers. Uh, he is found in the, um, uh, in the ancient uh, teachings of the Cabal. He, he is found in the uh, writings of even uh, the Islam, Islamists. So uh, yeah, this uh, Book of Secrets uh, was found uh, in the 12th century. And this Book of Secrets uh, containing the writings of Hermes uh, is what we refer to as the Emerald Tablets. Now the Emerald Tablets is uh, these tablets are tablets uh, that uh, have ancient alchemical text in them. And so these alchemical texts uh, refer to teachings about how to conjure uh, various uh, things in the other world and how to um, mix um, potions together and also uh, it's a lot of uh, witchcraft actually is what it really is. Uh, most of your um, modern day uh, philosophy and even uh, mo a lot of our uh, chemistry is based upon uh, the ancient writings uh, found from these uh, people who uh, were ancient uh, occultists. So uh, we have here the uh, Greek god um, interpretations. Uh, the, these were, these were, this information came from, interestingly enough, uh, fallen spirits whom uh, in the form of Greek gods uh, related a lot of this information to humanity. And uh, these Greek gods like uh, the god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thal uh, were combined and in their literature uh, was also compiled in the person of Hermes Trismegistus, who is the founder of the religious uh, philosophy, philosophy of the occult texts originating between 100 and 500 AD in Egypt and became known as Hermetica. So the Hermetica um, is a category of popular late antiquity literature purporting to contain secret wisdom. 
which you find a lot of this secret wisdom and secret knowledge uh, is actually part of what NASA does. It's also part of what uh, is become uh, the uh, secret oaths that uh, are taken by Freemasons. And a lot of this stuff is a uh, part of also uh, what um, many of our men of science base their rationales for their theories upon. And one person whom, uh, that uh, was very influenced by the Hermetical text was Isaac Newton. The writings of Hermes Trismegistus was revered by Isaac Newton, and it was uh, Newton who developed the theory of gravity. And uh, this theory of gravity was really based upon influences of Hermes Trismegistus. And among Newton's notes were found uh, the following quotes in which he translated the writings of Hermes Trismegistus. And in these notes, Newton wrote uh, that the Son is the Father of creation. Now, obviously, the Son is not the Father of creation. And you can tell that Newton has been heavily influenced by the doctrines of uh, demons. But, of course, um, this did not stop uh, Newton from coming up with his theories. He said the moon is the mother and the earth is the nurse. And obviously, Scripture tells us uh, right off the bat that uh, we should not worship the creation more than the creator. So scripture tells us in Romans chapter 1 verse 25 that uh, they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and they worship the creation, uh, the created things more than rather than the creator who is forever praised. And this is exactly what uh, Newton was doing. And this is exactly the kind of uh, doctrines uh, that uh, influenced most of the men who founded our uh, philosophies of science and uh, rationalism today. So uh, Isaac Newton was a worshiper of the creation more than the creator. And so this is uh, very plain to see. And uh, he also practiced the magic of Hermes Trismegistus. And gravity is part of that magic because gravity is part of what we uh, refer to as the law of, law of attraction. Uh, and they refer to that as uh, the, a law that actually governs the, uh, uh, the spiritual world uh, in witchcraft. And so uh, the law of attraction is making things happen without having to be there. And so, again, it, uh, the idea of gravity... Uh, is part of that law of attraction. Uh, listen to um, young Tom Riddle as he describes the magical skills. He says, I can make things move without touching them, and I can make animals do what I want without training them, and I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. I can make them hurt if I want to, and that's what young Tom Riddle uh, says in describing his magical skills. Now, we believe that uh, Isaac Newton was a man of science and a scholar and a practitioner of mathematics. Textbooks tell us that he was a man of science. However, his use of Gnostic and occult philosophies, such as uh, what was uh, taught to him by Hermes Trismegistus, uh, demonstrate that his teachings were rooted in uh, pagan beliefs. And actually, much of Newton's practices that he believed were witchcraft. And so uh, Isaac Newton's belief in an invisible force uh, that controls the physical world were similar to the beliefs of the elemental nature or elemental energies of witchcraft, which produce change in our physical world, as young Tom Riddle uh, was saying. So Isaac Newton uh, uh, actually walked away from God uh, into this uh, door of the occult without ever letting uh, letting the world know. But uh, again, this does not stop us from uh, creating a whole belief system in the Christian world around Isaac Newton and celebrating him as the father of rationalism and of science. And so, um, again, all of this is really rooted in uh, this person here, Hermes Trismegistus, goes all the way back to the ancient worship of Greek gods and uh, Egyptian gods. Anyway, um, I have a lot more about this uh, in my book. You can get my book by actually 
uh, clicking the link below I'm going to provide that link for you and it's a free book and you can just uh, pick it up and uh, look up a lot of this uh, information for yourself also don't forget to visit my website truthsetfreetv.com I also produce a lot of my materials and I put a lot of my materials on that website so that you can see it and don't forget to uh, patronize us uh, by clicking the links and purchasing things every time you do that uh, you keep this website alive uh, I will also provide a, a Christian t-shirt uh, for you to purchase and wear and uh, show the whole world that uh, you are a disciple of Jesus Christ remember until next time that Jesus is the light of the world and the truth shall set you free